to take a little time and look at a single pitch and how we can think of it in a few different ways. We're not going to be moving this pitch around the fingerboard, so we're going to be very certain that it's this E here on the second string fifth fret. And we're going to look at it in all of its different guises, all the different hats it can wear, just to start to open the idea of thinking in terms of how a, how a pitch is functioning in a chord or in a harmony. If you've not yet done so, if you're enjoying the content here, if you'd like to leave a comment, share <clears throat> with your friends, that would be great. If you could share on forums, that would be great. It'd be great if you could subscribe if you're not subscribed. I do get a lot of viewers that pop in and aren't subscribed, and I would hope there's something here that they would come back for. If you'd ever like to send me a tip, that would be a very nice surprise. And my PayPal information is there in the description. So what we're going to do is take this E and treat it like 1, like flat 9, like 9, like sharp 9, or minor 3rd, like 3. And we're going to go all the way through every degree that E can be in this voice. So here I did E little triad. So with our six string open, you could, this is six, four, five, if you want to know the voicings, just a little E major triad, first inversion over an E bass. So this is E is one. Sounds very restful, I think. Now, one of the tense ways that it can be, say as the flat nine of a chord, in this case, it would need to be e, e flat seven, flat nine. This is six, five, six, five. So it's that same E, it's still trying to say hi, but it's different than, now it's at the outer reaches of harmonic uh, viability here. It's the only note that's not in the overtone series. That's the flat nine. So if you were to look up the tree of the E flat overtone series, you'd get different different members, but you'd never find an, an E. It's just not there. So we've, human beings have put that there in an attempt to create equidistant half steps on this instrument and others. So here's E as E as one as flat nine. Let's do it now E as nine. How about D minor nine? Five, three, five, five. This could also be D nine. Could be D major nine. All kinds of ways it could be nine but it's a natural nine over D. How about we take it down, make it a minor third in C sharp minor. So there it's really functioning as a minor third, one whole step half. But if you put it C sharp seven, it's now the sharp nine, because here's C sharp, here's the flat nine of C sharp, the nine and the sharp nine, sometimes known as the Hendrix chord. So C sharp seven, sharp nine. How about we'll just do regular old C major seven. I'm doing a, uh, we'll do a regular old voicing. Three, five, four, five, C major seven. 
as nine, as three, how about as four, or eleven? So here's B minor eleven, seven, 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 five. Now how about we hear it as sharp four or flat five? This is six, six, seven, five, B flat, A flat, D, E, or F flat, depending on how you want to think. So that's it as flat five. Again, it's kind of outside, isn't it? As sharp nine, as flat nine, as flat five. How about just as regular old five? Either A7, 5, 5, 6, 5, or A minor 7, 5, 5, 5, 5. How about as flat 13 or flat 6? So G sharp. makes E take on that form, flat 13. It's the flat 6 up an octave. Has a strong propensity to want to go down and maybe resolve somewhere. Those are uh, resolving to G sharp to C sharp minor or G sharp to C sharp major. Standard kinds of guitar voicings. How about E as six or 13? So it's very sweet right here. So three, three, four, five. How about we could get it as flat seven? Either F sharp seven, two, two, three, five. We could do F sharp minor seven. Two, 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 five. E is part of E seven. We didn't get to E as major seven. Very bright, a, a kind of a color that sticks out. Enjoyed more popularity some decades ago, many decades ago, major sevens. You don't hear them as much anymore, but. So this is one, five, five, five on strings four, three, two. And now we're back to E, as E is one. One, flat nine, nine, minor third or sharp nine, three, 11 or four, sharp four or flat five, five, flat 13, 13, flat seven, seven, one. I hope this has been interesting. Maybe some sounds you've heard that you didn't know quite what they were or hadn't thought of a single pitch this way. But uh, these things can bear fruit. Give them some time, spend some time with them. It's good to know not only the pitch that you're playing, how it fits into different chords, that E could be the the root of E could be the third of C. It could be the fifth of A. It could be the flat seven of F sharp, etc. All these different guises for one pitch. And ultimately, through time and experience and whatnot, just mapping, you'll get to know all of these pitches and how they all relate in these ways. We want to be able to think of them at the turn of a hat eventually. It, it won't be that hard because it's a limited number of things. We only have so many notes and we only have so much register.
so we're not having to worry about we don't have well we could nine strings or ten strings or anything like that we just if we're just sticking with six which i am in standard tuning then we as george van epp said the fingers can't leave the hand that's why he invented the seven string guitar back in the 30s because he wanted to be able to play that note and that note at the same time if you tune your seventh string to a that means whatever note is on the fifth string you move it over so if an f is here move it across move it to your seventh string that's an f and then he could get that sound all in one basically one position so anyway some little side roads in conversation here i hope this finds you doing well let me know if you have questions or comments i do hope this channel can be inspirational for you and that you find something interesting i do try to post things most days if you haven't noticed pretty regular about that i try to be so i wish you as always a very good day